participants please any one of you Pulga? yes please okay so again i am repeating we are comparing the bus and the bullet in the bus and it's a heavier mass Anna, we are saying heavier mass you know the formula for momentum p is equal to mass into velocity m into v the mass compare combine over the nalai. if it is moving the slow it's more rumba slow bus move on akuda we can say momentum is large because it's having the high mass value and the bullet uh, you are comparing with the bullet bullet having even a small mass when the rumba lower i even it may be a small mass shoot pandra pa it's move with a high velocity so mass into velocity you can say bullet can have a large momentum so inertia is another property of mass already i told you it raises a change in velocity it depends only on the mass inertia is a scalar quantity there is no direction inertia the direction but momentum is a vector quantity because moving mass with the resistance changes in object velocity so you can say momentum is a vector quantity and the force already i told you uh, momentum changes when a net force is applied so that is the inverse if momentum changes forces are created if momentum changes quickly large forces for large forces are involved that is the we have completed newton's first this is first i showing the newton's first law that is an object at rest will stay stay at rest or if it is a rest rest lay the air and Object will stay in motion balanced forces. In the other way, other unbalanced This is the first law we have completed the Newton's first law. Then Newton's second law. What is the Newton's second law? That is, uh, we are uh, comparing the relation between the force and the acceleration. Force is nothing but force equal to mass into acceleration. That is acceleration of an object is directly proportional to net force if many forces are acts on an object f1 f2 f3 f4 now you are considering more forces but net force na compare na, we can put the summation of sigma of na yeah. so yeah So, acceleration of an object is directly proportional to net force acting on it and inversely proportional to. So, it on the remove one is directly proportional that is 1 by m. So, inversely proportional to its mass. You put it f is equal to m into a. Therefore, a is equal to f by m. So, you can say this is directly proportional and this is 1 by m that is inversely proportional to its mass. So, F net is equal to delta F is equal to M into A. Or uh, the net force is uh, of an object equal to product of mass and acceleration. What is the unit of this? Already I told you, mass or unit in a kilogram. Acceleration or unit is velocity divided by time. Velocity can a formula, displacement by time. So, you a unit kilogram, you a unit velocity by time meter per second square so kilogram meter per second square is the unit of force or you can say the another unit is newton okay so the rate of change of momentum already i told you the rate of change of momentum momentum is represented by p Rate of meaning, what is the rate of meaning? Naraya peri confused or Rate of change of momentum. Change of momentum represent one room. P in represent one We are mentioning as P. Rating are the time. So, we are writing dp by dt. P in momentum. 
rate of எடுத்துட்டு divided by time ना போடுறோம் that is rate of change of momentum is directly proportional to net force on the body or we can say the momentum change of the change in momentum of a body is takes place in the direction of net external force acting on the body nu solanum so ipa dp ingiradhu enadhu momentum p ingiradhu momentum change in momentum momentum change avrudhu differ agudhu so we can write it as dp change in momentum dp enna time la time na t time change rate of change of momentum அப்ப we can take it as dt நம்ம நீங்க கொடுக்கிற எக்ஸ்டர்னல் ஃபோர்ஸ்னால இது चेंज ஆகுது சோ அதை எப்படி எழுதலாம் f is proportional to dp by dt dp ங்கிறது என்ன மொமெண்டம் t ங்கிறது டைம் தட் இஸ் யூ கேன் சே ரேட் ஆஃப் चेंज ஆஃப் மொமெண்டம் ஹி ஆர் डायरेक्टली ப்ரோபோர்ஷனல் டு சிம்பல் ஐ ஹேவ் ஷோன் சோ இஃப் யூ ஆர் ரிமூவிங் தி ப்ரோபோர்ஷனாலிட்டி சிம்பல் we have to add some constant equal to dp by dt so this is uh, your first class so i am going very so based upon this things only we are going for the remaining adanalana na slow ah da ungalku pora first class so yeah if you are removing the proportionality you have to add some constant the dar near bigidam adha remove pannina na f is equal to k into dp by dt k is a constant of proportionality so f is equal to k into எப்படி எழுதலாம் d by dt of p is equal to என்ன what is p what is p value yes any one of you answer me please யாராவது ஒரு பார்ட்டிசிபன் ஆன்சர் பண்ணுங்க ப்ளீஸ் what is the value of p p னா என்ன what is p ஒரு 3 பார்ட்டிசிபன்ஸ் only answering yes p என்னமா students please any one of you are you hearing me நான் பேசுறது கேக்குதா எஸ் பார்ட்டிசிபன்ஸ் பி இஸ் மொமெண்டம் எஸ் பி இஸ் மொமெண்டம் பி எப்படி எழுதலாம் நம்ம ஸ்ப்ளிட் அப் பண்ணி மாஸ் இன்டு வெலோசிட்டி வெரி குட் மாஸ் இன்டு வெலாசிட்டி சோ d பை dt ஆஃப் இன்ஸ்டட் ஆஃப் p m இன்டு v மாஸ் இன்டு வெலாசிட்டி வெரி குட் थैंक यू சார் சோ f is equal to k into we have written the same k here the d by dt ya thaniya ezhudirkinga d by dt we have written the d by dt instead of p p ku bala p is equal to m into v so you can write f is equal to k into d by dt of m into v so k f is equal to k m velil eduthu mass mass ka mass is at outside k into m of db by dt ellarkum puriyada in from this equation we have written k idu vand velocity only changing mass change agadu so we have taken out the mass outside why you have taken the mass outside mass constant mass velila eduthitom velocity only changing so we can write it as d na in a differentiation change agirudhu shift agirudhu so there is change in velocity so we can write as dv by dt mass we have taken at out so by expressing so ungalku theriyum we are going to express the momentum as product of mass and the velocity mass into velocity so a is equal to we can write a is equal to na velocity by time change of velocity or you can say rate of change of velocity that is dv by dt so see the previous slide inga enna irukku f is equal to k m dv by dt so instead of dv by dt what we can write the dv by dt ku bala enna eludalam acceleration yes good thank you so we can write it as a is equal to dv by that t dt substitute keep it as equation number 2 substitute 2 in 1 so we can write it as f is equal to m into a so we can say force is nothing but product of mass and the velocity it is nothing but k is the proportionality constant k1 in kuda ninga eduthukalam so we can write it as product of the mass into velocity is nothing but the force so force is defined as the product of mass into velocity and acceleration is nothing but the 
rate of change of displacement. Again, I am repeating this Newton's second law. That is rate of change of momentum. Change of momentum is nothing but P. That is rate of change of momentum na dp by dt is directly proportional to the force acts on the body. This is the Newton's second law. So Newton's second law shows the relation between the momentum and the force. So f is proportional to a dp by dt. If you are removing the proportionality, you have to add some constant. K is nothing but the constant of proportionality. So p value, you know, p is equal to m into v. M is change, M will not change, M mass remains constant. Mass one the constant are go, mass are so M will be the edito. So velocity only changes. So we can write it as dv by dt. And dv by dt instead of this, we can write it as the acceleration. That is called the mood kamna solvanga. Kamula solla ponina, this is a by neram time column. dv by dt. So if you substitute this value, you can get it as. F is equal to m into a. So, we can write F is equal to m into a. And already I told you, m into acceleration, what acceleration? Rate of change of velocity, difference in velocity or we can say shift in velocity or we can say change in velocity. Velocity change out with respect to time. So, m into del v by t or you can say F is equal to, it is equal to F is equal to M into del V by T. If both sides of the equation multiplied by T, both sides, left side multiplied by T, okay, what is that left side? F is there. If you multiply with T, you can write it as F into T. Okay, M into del V. Okay. M into del V by T, if you multiply by T, T, T will be cancelled. In the equation of the render side, T all the multiply. So we can write it as F into T. F into T. In the side multiply panning F into T. So equal to M T. In the side T all the multiply panning T T cancel. I so we can write it as M into del V. So F dot T is equal to M into V. So that is quantity of force and the time. F is force. That is T is the time is known as the impulse. What is impulse? Force into time. That is the quantity of force and the time is known as the impulse left hand side. And M dot V. What is M dot V? Is it M into V? Momentum. That is the quantity of M into del V. That is nothing but change in momentum. Shows. So the equation, what the, from this, what we are going to conclude, what we are going to inform, infer from this equation, the equation in the end, what is f dot t? f dot t is what? f dot t, yes, please, f dot t, yes, anyone of you, please, f dot t, very good, impulse. What is uh, this m into del v mass into velocity? Na? Velocity, uh, the momentum. Momentum, and you should add the word change because I just showed you delta. Good, very good. Delta Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. So you can say from this equation, we can go for the conclusion is the impulse is equal to change in momentum. Are you clear with this, all of you? F into t is the impulse. This is m into del v is called it as the change in momentum. So impulse is equal to change in momentum. So suppose I have shown one example. This is a desk. We kept a book here. Uh, so you can when a book is placed on the table, the our book a or a table made of chicken. It exerts some force on the table. The book on the some force on the table made on the table. It exerts some force on the table na solo. and also exerts a force on equal magnitude on the book in the upper direction. See the arrow mark. In the, is the in the force the downward direction. Is the in the force in the force act in the upper direction. So the force F1 and F2, F2. Here cancel out or what is the answer? It is 
F1 and F2 are acting on different bodies. இது வந்து book. This is book. This is not a same body. This is the book and this is the desk. We are keeping the book on the desk. So we can say they do not cancel. The force F1 and F2 do not cancel. When two, or we can say when two objects are interact, the force exerted by one object on the other. In the force on the book, on the book in the desk, add pandra, add pandra force. is equal to magnitude is equal in magnitude maybe equal magnitude and the value only equal irukalam what it is in opposite direction to the force exerted by the later object on the former munadi irundathu bida okay so second law is over so what is the second law f is equal to it shows the relation between the f is equal to m into a acceleration is directly proportional to net force and inversely proportional to mass second law over this is the newton's third law adavadhu tamil la solluvom ovvoru vinaikkum ethiri vinai undu to every action there is an equal and opposite reaction namma enna or action kudukuromo adukku namakku ore nalla reaction namakku kedaikum namma seiyiradhu dhaan namakku kedaikum nu solluvanga that is mean opposite to every action there is an equal and opposite so why we are taking two objects the objects 1 and 2 is interacting that is here i have shown two objects are interacting in magnitude is equal but it may be in opposite direction but it will be in opposite direction la irukum so we can say that is force acts on the body f yeah, first force second force acts on the body is minus f so we can say F is equal to minus F. So what is F action? So we want minus F is another F is reaction. So here minus F is there. So we can say action is equal to minus reaction. So here here one ball we have taken two. The force F one two net through one. Here F two one net through one. So what we said force is equal to minus uh, action is equal to minus reaction. The F one two is we can say action. So we want that. If the F two one is in opposite, so that is called it as the minus reaction. So the action and the reaction forces acts on the different objects. So we have completed Newton's three laws. So again, I have concluded. What is the first law? If it is in rest, it maintain the same. Or if it is in stay in motion with uniform velocity, it will maintain the same unless acted upon by the unbalanced force that is the newton's first law second law force equal to mass times acceleration third law to every action there is an equal and opposite reaction that is f is equal to minus f next we are going for impulse what is impulse already i will be uh, we have seen in the previous slides impulse is nothing but a Certain amount of force you apply, whatever you are applying force to your body to a certain amount of time, so that will create uh, changes in the momentum. That is, momentum will be changes. So, impulse is defined as what is impulse? Force into that is uh, product of force and the time duration, or you can write it as F into dt. If you have a Noted. So, impulse is equal to F. Did you write this equation? Paper pen. Clearly, parna. Impulse is equal to F. What is F? Yes, please. What is F? What is pen? Any one of the answer? What is F? Yes, are you hearing me? What is F? Four centimeter. That for F is equal to mass into acceleration. That is impulse. If you have the pen and paper, please uh, note it. Impulse is equal to F into d. F for every is na mass into acceleration. So we can write M into a into d t ne is na. So what is a? M into a into d t. So a is equal to d v by d t. Rate of change of velocity. So ma instead of ma F for M into 
dv by dt into dt in the long. So dt dt cancel out. What else will be remaining? M into dv. That is the change in velocity. So we can say final velocity minus initial velocity. So we can say mv minus mu. If you can see this, suppose if we can't understand note here, impulse f is equal to dt in the long. So f is equal to you apply m into a. f is equal to m into a in the long. M A into D T. A is equal to D V by D T. That is rate of change of velocity. Apa D T and D T in cancel and remain you may have M into V minus U. That is momentum final minus initial. So we can say is equal to D P. D is in the difference. P is the momentum. So in the end, what are you saying? Rate of change of momentum, the change of momentum, M into V minus U or change of momentum. So that impulse is equal uh, to change in linear momentum. And you can say impulse is a vector quantity that unit of uh, impulse is Newton second or you can say kilogram meter per second. So impulse is over. Next we are going for the law of culture of momentum so in this class we cannot complete our other topic this is some part we have the questions so i'll say the law next class we will continue the one so now what is the law of conservation of momentum so if two bodies or one body is colliding with the another body one object is collide with the another object or purul in or purul mele collide avudu strike out avudu appo enna what we can say the total momentum, momentum na ena tamil la undam na soliyenge na nekna. So the total momentum before the collision, and the rend object um collide over the kumuna di. So idu no da mass m1, idu no da another object b, the mass m2. It's moving at velocity u1, u2 na rku. So I will explain this in next class. Just now I'll say the law only. That is total momentum before the collision is equal to total momentum after the collision. If we were collided with Munadi in the momentum after collision, total momentum equal I record. This is the law of conservation. Or you can say the total momentum of a system is conserved. In the conserved and a constant I record. This is the law of conservation of momentum. Or you can say when the impulse is due to external forces is zero, zero or not. Then the system is constant in the system. So, this is the velocity before collide. You know, it's separated. It's not colliding. If you see the diagram, the objects are not getting any contact. It's separated. It's separated before the collision. So, it's with the velocity m1, m2 moving with velocity u1 and u2. Now, just during collision, momentum change out there not a velocity change out there before collision you are shown the velocity is u1 u2 that is the object a is moving to velocity u1 with the mass m1 and the object b with the mass m2 moves with the velocity u2 so after the collision it's move with the velocity u1 and u2 after the collision okay remind things we will see in the next class so now uh, i have started the block one we have seen the basic things only so next class we will see the continuation of the law of conservation of momentum so participants how do you feel are you able to follow this yes answer me please yes, yes. can you understand this llama is there any one of you answer me participants? Yes, ma'am. Okay, thank you. Madam, you can answer madam? Yes, sir, you can answer, thank you, sir. Okay, madam, okay, I'll give you a present, madam. Okay, sir. Start next class, madam. Okay, thank you, madam. Thank you, participants, thank you, sir.